Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. And today in this tech video, we're gonna be going through the edit alt tool, which will allow us to change file directories inside of SolidWorks in a fast and efficient manner. Now on my particular computer, I have a handful of SolidWorks versions currently installed. These versions range from 2016 to 2017. And going into my programs files, we'll actually see each one of the directories I want each version of SolidWorks to go ahead and direct the search paths to. However, upon installing my latest 2018 version of SolidWorks, I noticed that when I was going into my system options, file locations, that a handful of the directories were actually referencing previous directories that I do not wish to cross with the new version. In this case, the reference documents is looking at my 2017 directory. And as I scroll through a little bit more, my bill material templates is actually looking at a SOLIDWORKS Corp folder, which is actually referencing my 2016 directory. Now, in previous iterations of SOLIDWORKS, we could go through and manually add or delete any one of these directories. However, there are a ton that we need to go through. So it can work, but it's a little bit time consuming and not ideal. However, released in 2017, SOLIDWORKS added a tool which is called the Edit All. What this will do is bring you up a dialog box with all of the referenced file locations, along with their current search path and the new search path that you would like them to look for. Inside this menu, you can go through and manually type in a brand new search path. However, there is a button in the lower left-hand corner called Find and Replace. What this is going to allow you to do is change a bulk number of current paths to the new path you would like to look at. In order to do this, you can manually type in the old search path and the new search path, or you can go directly to your file explorer and find the exact search path you would like to use and just copy that directly from the top search menu of the file explorer. I personally like doing this because it saves me some time from having to type and it prevents any errors uh, from me accidentally mistyping a particular search path and uh, the error could arise later on. Once you've added the current search path and the new search path you would like to use, you can actually hit find next and go through and manually choose which directories you would like to update. Now you also have the option to use the replace all tool, which will manually replace all of the directories that you've chosen with the new directory path. This is the option that I will choose for this video. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and push save and push OK for our system options. If SOLIDWORKS pops up with a warning message, go ahead and push yes and have SOLIDWORKS update that particular folder or file path. And now SOLIDWORKS will have the correct file directories that you would like it to reference for those particular tools. I'd like to thank you for watching this tech video and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.